Alright, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Ah, Don Ganranpa. Okay. Woo! Woo, guy gotta. Pantone 12, man. Once again, now he's doing it for Don Ganranpa. Because. And I, I'm gonna, yeah. Can we put a shotgun? Alright, I, I apologize. The only reason I'm apologizing, though, is because this guy's name is Bayaku. That's the only reason I'm going to apologize for. Because, yeah, she was saying, you know, I was hating on that guy. Um, this one was fucking insane. Like, what the fuck? You know, it was just like, oh my god. Um, now, this show, the whole thing about this show and what it brings is it's more than what it is telling. Because, see, the way I look at it is it's two things about this show. Number one, at survival. But number two is it's mystery. Because supposedly when someone dies, gets killed, they have like a kind of class trial. So this is almost like a court case. When this occurs. Now, this episode, I believe, was called Kill Free or Live Hard. Which I kind of find funny. You know, you have the die, die hard thing. By the way, this is my shirt. You mad, bro? Um... Kill, you know, kill, 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 kill. live free or die hard. You know, live free or die hard. So now you have kill free or live hard. Kill free or live hard. Um, so this episode, pretty much what happens is we have the beginning parts. Is um, this thing with, with Makoto, you know, ne ne and Nagi, Nagi. Okay, can't even say that his last name. Makoto. Yeah, Makoto. He, um, what happens is, uh, Sayaka shows up to his room. And she's pretty much disturbed Sayaka after like, the, first, the, ending of, the ending of the first episode. Um, for what she saw on her, the disc that she saw. Because each person was given a disc, you know, the whole thing in the AV room. Yeah, so... What she saw really disturbed her. And disturbed everybody else who saw it. They were their separate own personal discs. And she wanted, she was scared and everything, and she knocked on his door. And there was also a scene where Mono Mono, this, this fucking bear bed is like Jesus Christ. Like, he shall now know be known as the Zetsu Bear. I'm telling you. He's the Zetsu Bear. He's the Zetsu Bear. Watch out. Watch out for the Zetsu Bear. Um, but yeah, and he's basically telling, you know, he's in, he's, he just shows up out of nowhere. He tells Makoto that his bathroom, in order to open it, you have to turn it and lift it up. Which kind of makes you think later on, which I will get into in this review. And he tells him that, and he's, he shows up and stuff. Because he's, he's explaining to him, you know, the whole thing with curfew and all this other jazz, so to speak. Now, what happens is Sayaka wants to train, change rooms with Makoto. And he changes rooms with her. Willingly. Because, you know, she's scared and she just wants to stay in her room and, and so on and so forth. There's a part where you go to Sayaka, and she's looking down, and you see her eyes, and she's glazed over. Oh, by the way, for this anime, this anime is fucking bossed already, because I love what they do with blood. I love how they represent blood in this anime. It's so out of the box. You know what I mean? So, that, that basically happens, and the next morning... 
everyone gets ready to go to have breakfast and everyone get, gathers. Now, he leaves her room, Wakoto, and goes to the cafeteria. And everybody goes to the cafeteria. And then he basically, everyone's like saying, you know, where, where's, uh, everyone's here. You know, Bayakuya, guy is there. Bayakuya. <laughs> Can't get over that. Um, everybody's there except for Togami, Bayakuya, but he showed up. And the only one left is Sayaka. So he leaves Makoto to go see her in her room, in his room. And he does the thing with the door, and he sees that there are marks all over the room. With, I guess the sword was used. And it's like, Jesus Christ. And then he sees her dead. Sayaka is dead. And she's got a knife in her abdomen. Had to been, you know, stomach. And the blood was just, was pink. I was like, whoa, like that touch. Nice touch then with the pink blood. So what ends up happening after that is he faints and he screams. You know, faints. Um, and the other girls there, um, I'm trying to figure out who it was or with him. When he first woke up. Oh, that's right. It was, um... Aoi. Asahina. Uh, I believe Chihiro. You know, and the goth chick. Celestia. Uh, so... And then he's being basically told by them, you know, don't go there, she's dead. And so on and so forth. And Bayakuya... Yeah, this guy... Takami... This, it, it's just the cockiness. It, it's just like, he's better than everybody else. That, that's my problem. It's not like killing with a shotgun. I just can't stand that shit. He's got to tone it down. He's got to tone it down. Tone it down. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But he was basically just rubbing it into him. And, and they, um... I had to meet at the gym because of this situation. And the bear, mono mono bears there and saying, you know, basically... You know, now that she's dead, oh, we can all grab, this person can graduate. It's like, no, 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 how naive, he says. He's like, we're going to host, that there's going to be a trial uh, to find out who did it. And basically, the gist of that is, and if this was, if this happened in a real jury case, I seriously doubt anyone would apply for jury duty. No one would apply for jury duty if, if this was the case. So, basically, in order to determine if the person could graduate or not, they have to have this trial. Now, if the killer gets off scot-free and doesn't get identified, the people who accused him, that accused the wrong person, they die. They get executed. And, the, and if they correct, they answer correct, the person who did the crime and is caught gets executed. Now, that was the whole gist he was saying. And then this one girl, I think her name is, what was her name? Oh, yeah, Junko. <laughs> Junko. Yeah. She was uh, trying to get off on the bear. Say, you know, he said to her, you know, I told you that if any, any violence towards the principal is met with, you know, consequences and shit. And then he calls, and this was funny. This was funny in this episode. I don't know if anyone else is watching this show in this anime during the summer anime series. Do you know the show, guys? Xeno uh, Xeno Gear G. In that show, one character has a thing called the Grand Gear uh, Gar Gar Gardener Spear. The Gardener Spear. The bear called for it in this episode, and then he used it and he killed uh, Junko. Junko's dead. <laughs> he killed her. Because of what she did. You know, I was saying consequences. Don't, don't attack the bear. Not, don't, don't attack the bear. Because you're going to be dead. So she got speared. And then uh, there was like pink blood everywhere. I was like, yo. What the fuck? Uh, it's crazy. Um, and then they're all looking at the... Because there's a new tab. And apparently they're all looking at it. And after the whole... And what with that one girl uh, the, the bring the the um, study, you know, the nerd girl, the glasses, 
she faints, and they all see it, and they realize that Sayaka was in, um, Makoto's room. Now, this, I think, is stupid. Oh, hey, oh, they're all judging him. I'm like, first of all, dumbasses, you should realize that it's probably not him. You know? I mean, that, that, that was stupid. And then, uh, Bayaku's like, and this is what I don't like. He's like, oh, you have to show me proof. And uh, I'm like, you could have done it, huh? Ever thought about that? You could have done it, by, uh, Togami. You could have done it. But you're not saying shit. So. But I will say from this episode, I will say there are now two favorite female characters for me. Two are... Four. Celestia Ludenberg, that's the golf chick, and Kyoko Kirigiri. She... Awesome. She's an awesome character. I... I, I Approve her 100%. Because she's almost like she has got her shit together. And she's like, this is what we need to do. You know, she's not like, you know, Junko or the others. She's she's really smart. She knows what she needs to do and so on and so forth. Because what happens is they investigate. And when they get after this whole thing with Kodo, um, they investigate the room... And apparently, you know, there's some certain, certain few things that were used. It was a sword, which was probably used to hit her in the leg of some sort, uh, Sayaka. Hit her in the leg, and there's a lot of scratches around the room. And they know, he notices something, Makoto. There's a number on the back of Sayaka against the wall in the bathroom where she died. And I believe it said 1107? Or 1103. I, I don't know the specifically the exact number. But she wrote that number. Now, that number is most likely a room number. So they're all going through. And then the last thing that happened before they actually go to the room, the trial class, <laughs> they're going to judge the person. Um, Makoto goes to the AV room because he finds her disc. Sayaka's disc in the trash. She, he watches it. And basically what he sees on the disc, Sayaka's band that was she performing with as an idol, they're dead. All dead. And like he's freaking out seeing this um, Makoto. He, he just, he's freaking out about it. He can't handle it. Um, and that's when we get the ring of basically, to f for them to go in and to do this trial thing. And this is why I like Kirigiri. Everyone's going in there, everyone's looking in with hatred eyes, you know, this fucking, and these punk kids, these kids, you know, the delinquent kids, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That orange haired kid, that kid needs to get the fuck out. Like, seriously. And there's this, this one, one kid who, who who I find very militaristic is, um, what's his face? Uh, Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Ishimaru, he, he's basically telling him in there, oh, you know, stop that. Dude, we do not know that. And then we got Kirigiri showing up again with Makoto and saying, you need to figure this thing out, you know, and so on and so forth, so we can get through this. And I like that. That was, that was a shining moment for me. But that's pretty much what happened. And then they're just we're basically going in. Oh, by the way, the closing theme song, fucking awesome. A lot of, lot of um, kind of like video game characteristics in the closing theme. I love that. That was awesome. Completely awesome. I was just like blown away. Um, and the opening was pretty damn good too. So both, both chances. Great, great, great uh, closing and opening theme. Now... Five out of five for this one. I personally have no idea who did it. But I will say this. The number that was in the her back that she wrote as like a dying message, that number is very important. Because it's probably the room number. Because another thing that was that was confusing, and this is the last thing I'm going to say about this review, 
was what Karagiri found out that apparently according to the because they get these PDAs the PDA said that the room that was supposed to be Sayaka's was Makoto's so it actually swapped which just is so confusing I'm like what the fuck does that mean but overall this was a great episode I have no idea who did it I'm like, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to be able to guess who did what murder as we go along in this show. Though, I'm wondering, because, I mean, you got 13 left. Uh, you got to wonder what happens at the end. I have no idea. I have no fucking idea what's going to happen at the end of this. It's just going to be whew, crazy. But yeah. That's all I got for you guys. Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. But yeah, Carrie Geary. Love that broad. She's got her shit together. I'll hold off on Togami. I'll give him a, I'll give him a breather. Alright, Kyo. Yeah, uh, his name's Bayaki. Alright, I'll hold off. I'll hold off until he drops the ball. I'll hold off until he drops the ball. Drops the ball, find out he's a, one, of, one of the killers later on in the show. Then hey, I'm going to go ham on him. So yeah, but yeah, Karagiri, awesome, the goth chick, awesome, Kodo, let's see if he did it, I don't think he did though, we'll have to wait and see, wait and see, I'm Bonkai922, I'll see you guys later, poor Sakiyaka, Sakiyaka, oh well.